What's going on, everybody? Uh, I'm back for one more episode of this. Um, where are all these bats coming from? Oh, it's a stump. Um, so, Hammerwatch has, well, not a modding community. They have a custom map generating community. Uh, Hammerwatch comes with a level editor, and while I have actually sort of beaten the game, um, I, I haven't actually beaten the game because I haven't collected all of the planks. Uh, I'll probably be trying to do that in a multiplayer setting, because uh, some of the planks are just way too hard to get on your own. Like, you have to sacrifice someone in order to get to them. So I thought I'd try out this random level generator. See what uh, see what uh, would come up. Um, since this is where Hammerwatch really shines, the fact that uh, there's custom level editors, much like how Minecraft you can make custom maps made. Um, so I thought I'd just have a look, see what we got going on here. Um, if you think that uh, this game might be fun to see played in a group, uh, which I do, um, play the campaign with like three people or something. Oh my god! I can't do that with no upgrades! I gotta look for upgrades. Okay, so this is designed to really test your skills. Alright, I can deal with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I was actually surprised that there were so few levels in the end. Um, there's only 12 floors, uh, and 4 acts. Or 5 acts or something. Uh, there was the, uh, there was the dungeon, the armory, um, the, uh, I'm blanking, but... I'm just gonna... just looking around. Why... no comboing yet! Man, I'd make... I'd make mincemeat of this area if I had my combos going. I'm gonna die... Jesus Christ. Why are there so many bats? Why are there so many bats? Okay, so... So there's custom levels... Um, in addition to the actual campaign, there's, uh, some custom, customization for that. So, people are creating their own maps for campaigns. Um, this is just a random level generator. Um, some people have recreated, uh, some of the Doom levels. Uh, and, um, if I can get a second person, I'm gonna try to play through the campaign again in, like, one very long sitting. Um, but since there'd be two of us, we'd be able to, uh, cut a lot of the time, um, because we could separate and fight our way through stuff. And, uh, by doing that, I think we could get our hands on the last of the planks, um, because, to be honest, I don't know how to get some of the planks. Some of the planks are just way too hard to get, get a hold of, um, just because of, uh, where they are. Now the ideal thing for Hammerwatch would be to do it locally. So you could have like one person on the network host it and then you could have like three other people on the network join. Which uh, is good because you can have four different, there's four different classes. Uh, Paladin, uh, Paladin is the melee character. He focuses, he's got high defense, decent attack, and um, 
his the the ability that he starts with is a dash in, which is very nice. He he uh, can dash into um, the uh, middle of enemies, which is actually really useful um, when you're tanking. Uh, much like the other two classes, they come with uh, two extra abilities that you can unlock. I don't know why I'm explaining this in my last video, when I should be explaining it in the first one. Um, anywho, uh, the reason for this is his second one is he's got a heal, which costs some MP for some health. Uh, and his thir third one is uh, an AoE damage. So... All of his abilities are, you know, based on getting into the middle of the battle and then tanking it while dealing AOE damage, which is pretty nice. Um, after the Paladin, there's the Wizard. Uh, the Wizard has a ranged attack, auto attack, and a, his first ability is also ranged. Um, he, uh... It, it's, uh... You know, high damage, but uh, or it's it's low damage, but um, very high, uh, very fast uh, reshots um, for you know for his uh, for his first passive. Um, uh, he's got. Let's see here. I'm looking at the wiki. Um, least durability. Best mana and highest damage. Okay, so he's he's the straight DPS. Um, so he'd be a ranged DPS, ranged mage DPS. Uh, Paladin would be the tank. Ranger would be another DPS. Um, since I've beaten the game with him, he's pretty good. I like him a lot. Uh, There's the Warlock. Warlock is actually a very strange class. I played him a little bit. He's got a melee dagger for his auto attack, and it poisons. Uh, and his ranged attack is... Uh, oh, wait. Actually, hmm. With correct timing, the dagger attack can also parry projectiles. Uh, his first ability is a ball of lightning that um, jumps to nearby enemies. Which is really nice. Uh, his second, uh, I really like that one. Um, his second one is the Lifesteal Nova. Um, it's uh, it's a poison where he's healed based on the amount of damage that uh, it is dealt. Uh, and then his third one is the Electrical Storm, which um, it's a large AOE, but the damage is only medium. Uh, his passive is actually really nice. Uh, he, he gains life when he kills things, um, but you have to buy that. All four classes come with uh, effectively five abilities, kind of like League of Legends, actually. They've got their auto attack, they've got their first ability, their second ability, their third ability, and their passive, uh, if you want to count the auto attack as an ability. Um, uh... I mean, the Paladin's passive is he can... he has a chance of stunning, which is really nice. Um, and, like, the Wizard's passive uh, can cause burning damage. You've seen the Rangers, it's his dodge. And uh, the Warlock's is pretty nice, too. Um, it looks like he actually can get two passives, uh, the Warlock, because he's melee. Um, he can gain mana when he gain mana or health when he kills things, which is actually really nice. I was considering playing him, but I decided to go with the Ranger. Um, if we get a multiplayer thing going, uh, I might try to play as the uh, the Warlock. And I think a four-person game would be A, very fast, and could probably done, be done in one or two sittings. Uh, and B, I think it'd be fantastic uh, to see all four characters played at the same time, um, fighting back to back and taking down the bosses. We'd be more likely to find all the secrets, we'd be a lot better at getting the planks, because uh, we could sacrifice players to get some of the planks, like if you recall one of the earlier levels, um, 
there was a plank that the only way to get to it was to walk along with spikes. And I think only the paladin can get to that naturally. Uh, and otherwise you'd need to sacrifice about two of your allies. Uh, because the paladin has that dash. Uh, and uh, there have been a couple others that I just had no idea how to get to. Um, I think it'd be a great way of getting people to... Um, uh, I think it'd be fun. Uh, we'd probably all sit in the same room and we'd probably all record off of my microphone. Because uh, my microphone is actually quite powerful. Uh, you might have noticed this in the past. Um, people about like 10 feet away from me behind a closed door, you can hear them faintly. Um, so, yeah. I thought that that might be uh, a nice last thing to do. Uh, I can connect. We could do it via IP, but then you wouldn't be able to hear them. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be fun. Um, it is kind of annoying that there's no healer class. Uh, I think that a healer, you know, like a World of Warcraft healer class, where they can heal and, and do some DPS, but it's pretty minor DPS. Um, I think that'd be something that uh, they might want to consider. Uh, I don't think Camberwatch is getting any more updates, uh, as, as a point of fact. Um, but uh, I think it's technically considered a complete game now. Um, I can check, but I'm pretty sure it's considered a complete game. Um, it's only $7.99. Uh, there will be a link in the description as to how to go and buy it. Uh, I probably should have included it in the first episode, but um, honestly, I wasn't thinking at the time that people might want to buy it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's $9.99 on Steam. Uh... It's got some Steam achievements. Um, it was Steam greenlighted. I, oh, yep, modern editing support. Make your own levels and change other things to your liking. Yep, 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 yep. Um, yeah, I think that uh, it's 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 not a very long game. Um. As you probably noticed, uh, it does have a lot of secrets, and um, I think that the game excels best when you have like a full afternoon to devote yourself to it, uh, along with maybe you know one or two friends, maybe three, uh, so that way the four of you can uh, go dungeon delving old school style. Uh, I've been told that it's kind of similar to uh, what's that game, Gauntlet. Um, the just the dungeon crawler, um, your character doesn't really get too much in the way of upgrades until you spend money on it. And that would be the Butter Girl in the background. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's the end of Hammerwatch until I get some friends to do the co-op.